Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and today I want to show you how Apollo X works. Apollo X is actually a platform where you can trade crypto futures like Bitcoin futures and Ethereum futures and so on. And the special thing about it is that you don't need to do a KYC process. So a know your customer process where you upload your ID card. So you can trade there with just signing up and using your email address. And that's basically it. And you can even withdraw up to two Bitcoins per day without um, doing the KYC process. Um, so that's new and other platforms like Binance or FTX actually don't have that anymore. So Apollo X is one of the few platforms where you can trade now without KYC. So the other thing that is special about um, Apollo X is that you basically have two different kind of exchanges. You have a centralized exchange and you have a decentralized exchange. And on both you can basically trade Bitcoin or Ethereum or other crypto futures. And we will have a look at both of these platforms. So first of all, if you don't have an Apollo X account, feel free to use the link down in the description. And when you sign up with that link, as I said, you just need an email address and a password. And then you can also use the bonus section here in the onboarding hub. And there are always special um, bonus promotions that you can use. And there you can earn up to 700 USDT um, bonus as a new user. So feel free to sign up and check that bonus onboarding hub out here. So the first thing we will look at is a centralized exchange. And we are now in the centralized exchange. And the first thing we need to do is, if you want to change to the decentralized exchange, you would need to click on DEX here, so decentralized exchange. But um, now we are in the centralized exchange. As you can see, because on the centralized exchange, we have a wallet here, and the wallet is with Apollo X. And we can click there. And the first thing we can do is we can deposit some money. And there you have two wallets, a funding and a futures wallet. If you want to deposit something, you just go to the funding wallet and click deposit. And then you can select the coin that you want to deposit. So for example, USDT. And let's say we want to send that from Binance. So we just go to Binance here. We will use the Binance Smart Chain because it's way cheaper than the Ethereum um, chain. And then we get an address and then we can say, OK, we want to send some USDT via the Binance Smart Chain to Apollo X. And how that works is basically you just withdraw here. So you go to your Binance wallet, enter the address, select Binance Smart Chain. And then you can select how much you want to withdraw. And then you click withdraw. And then you are basically sending the USDT from Binance to Apollo X. And usually takes just a few minutes. <clears throat> and so it's very quick, actually. You could also deposit other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Dodge or whatever. Just select them here and then you can deposit them. Um, Let's say if you want to deposit Bitcoin, you can do that. And then you have the option to convert them here um, from example, Bitcoin to USDT because um, all the contracts here on Apollo X are traded against USDT. So it makes sense to have USDT in your account. So once you have done that and you deposited something, you can just transfer it to your futures wallet. Just click on transfer here, here, and then you send it from funding to futures, select the coin, and then you click confirm. And that's basically it. Then you have the money in your futures wallet. Then we can go to markets here, and then you can see that are all the contracts that are traded on Apollo X, and that are all perpetual contracts, meaning they are basically 
open until infinity. So there's no closing date where the contract gets closed automatically. So you can stay in your position as long as you like. However, um, you are paying funding for that and we will have a look at that in a second. So let's look at the BTC USDT perpetual. All we have to do is we click on trade here and then you basically see the chart, how the price went during the last minutes or here's like one candle is one hour. You can change that to 50 minute candles. And then um, here you have the order book, all the sell orders, all the buy orders. And then you can select if you want to do isolated or cross margin. That basically means if you have 1000 USDT in your wallet with isolated means you can select how much of that you want to use for your position. And let's say you want to use 500, then you have 500 left for another um, position. However, if you want to use cross, that basically means um, that all the positions that are opened um, will use the same wallet. So if you get liquidated, your whole wallet, all the positions will basically get liquidated. And with isolated, that can't happen because only the position that gets liquidated, and if you have several positions open, um, just the one position that gets liquidated, gets liquidated and not all the positions because with cross, they basically use the same wallet as collateral. And here you only have a specified amount of collateral for your position. So if you are newer, I would always recommend using isolated uh, margin. And then you can select your leverage, you can use up to 100x leverage. I wouldn't recommend that. 100x leverage means basically that you will get liquidated if the position you are in with 100x leverage and just moves 1% against you. So if the Bitcoin price is 500,000 USDT and you are in a long position, if the price drops just 500 euros, you will get liquidated and your money is basically gone then. So don't use high leverage. Maybe don't go higher than 3x or so. And that's it in terms of leverage. And then you can do a market or limit order meaning a market order, you just say how much of your money you want to invest into a position. Then you click uh, buy long or sell short, depending if you want to go buy, if you want to go long or short. <clears throat> With a limit order, you can say, okay, I want to invest as much as you like and you want to buy if the Bitcoin price drops, for example, to 40,000 USDT. So you say buy long. And that's basically it. Then you can go to open orders here and you'll see your order that you would buy Bitcoin if the price drops to 40,000 USD. Um, however, if that never happens, the open order will stay here forever and you can cancel it, of course, anytime. So a market order will get filled immediately to the best price available. And with the limit order, you basically say at what price you want to open your position. And that's it. Um, yeah, that's basically the centralized exchange if you are in a position and then you can see your position here. You can see um, your PNL, so how much you are in profit or in a loss and you can close it every time either with a market order or limit order where you can say, oh, okay, you want to close if the price reaches, I don't know, um, 70,000 USDT or whatever. So that's the centralized exchange and the decentralized exchange is a bit different. So what you have to do is you need to click here, then you come to the decentralized exchange, then you can click on launch app and it will launch and it basically looks the same. You have isolated uh, margin and cross margin. You can set leverage, market limit orders. However, the main difference is that you need to connect your MetaMask wallet. Um, the MetaMask wallet needs to be on Binance Smart Chain. Um, there's a lot of tutorials on the internet how you can do that. There's one on Binance.org. Um, how that works, I will put that in the description. 
and that basically explains to you how you can connect your MetaMask wallet to the Binance Smart Chain. It's fairly easy actually. And once you have done that, you can trade on the decentralized exchange. However, you have to know, since it's all based on the Binance Smart Chain, you need to have some BNB in your account to pay for the um, fees in the network. And you need to have USDT in your wallet. And it's fairly easy to get. You just go to your MetaMask and copy your address. And then you can um, send USDT via Binance Smart Chain to your MetaMask wallet. Just click withdraw here, enter your address, and that's basically it. And then you can send USDT to your Binance, uh, to your MetaMask wallet, and then you can use it to trade on the Apollo X decentralized exchange. And you still need to click deposit here and select USDT, and then you need to select how much USDT you want to use from your MetaMask wallet on Apollo X. And then you can trade here. Um, it's basically the same than the centralized exchange. As I said, the only difference is that you need MetaMask and you need um, to connect it here. And then you basically using the funds that you have in your MetaMask wallet instead of the fans, funds that you have in your Apollo X account. So the money stays with your MetaMask. Um, yeah, some people prefer that because it's safer, because the money is still with you and not with the exchange. However, the exchanges usually have a very good <clears throat> system with hot wallets and cold wallets to secure your money. <clears throat> so that's why none of the major exchanges got hacked in the past or in the last few months actually or years. And one more thing, um, there's also a token now, the Apollo X APX token. Um, the token you can basically get when you um, trade on the platform and as a trading reward, they give you the token. And how that works um, actually changes every time. So you just click here when you are on the decentralized exchange on retroactive trade reward. And then they tell you how you can get the token right now when you're trading there. Um, it's similar to DYDX, um, also the futures decentralized futures exchange, but that one is based on Ethereum and Apollo X is basically based on the Binance Smart Chain. So that's the main difference. That's basically it. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to write them in the comments and if you find that video helpful please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching